വി ആർ വെരി പയസ് ഡിവോട്ടഡ് ബി വെയർ ആൻഡ് ബി വെയർ ഏണസ്ലി പ്രേയിങ് വെരി ഓഫൺ ഫോർ അവർ ഓൺ നീഡ്സ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ദിസ് വേൾഡ്ലി നീഡ്സ് ബട്ട് ഇൻ ദ സെർമൺ ഓൺ ദ മൗണ്ട് മാത്യു ഫൈവ് മാത്യു സിക്സ് മാത്യു സെവൻ ത്രീ ചാപ്റ്റേഴ്സ് സെർമൺ ഓൺ ദ മൗണ്ട് ഇൻ മാത്യു സിക്സ് തേർട്ടി ത്രീ ജീസസ് സെഡ് സീക്ക് ദ കിങ്ഡം ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ലൈഫ് ഇൻ ദ ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് സീക്ക് ദ കിങ്ഡം ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ജസ്റ്റിസ് വട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ജസ്റ്റിസ് വി നീഡ് ടു ഹാവ് the original justice which adam and eve our first parents had they were in union with god they were walking with god they were listening to the voice of god such a perfect union they were created in the image of god but when a time came they started forgetting whatever they were given forgetting that they are in the image of god satan in in a bad moment came to weep and created suspicion or doubt about the goodness of god and uh, injected lies into her maybe if you eat the forbidden fruit you will become like god already they were like god and they were forgetting that they were like god forgetfulness of the word of god is a sin there are almost 35000 verses in the holy bible very often our mind will be empty of the word of god so that devil will put lies into our mind we were we will be deceived by satan to suspect the goodness of god we will doubt and question the god's love and kindness now satan was creeping into them and deceiving them and they disobeyed the commandment of god in their creation they were clothed with light heavenly light they had no dress but nakedness was not seen but when they once they committed sin violated the commandment of god they had to run and hide somewhere because they started losing that glorious light with which they were covered so they had to pick up some leaves and cover their nakedness the image of god was disappearing now jesus the second adam paid for the sins of the whole of mankind first and foremost accepting human form and living the earthly life 33 years and dying on the cross for the sins of the whole of mankind first john chapter 2 verse 2 first john chapter 2 verse 2 he is the sacrificial offering for our sins not only for our sins but for the sins of the whole world jesus 
the son of god died on the cross of calvary he paid for the sins of the whole of mankind if you believe in jesus if you surrender your whole life at the feet of the son of god you are entitled to receive back that fullness of union that fullness of the holy spirit which was lost by the sin of adam and eve luke 18 we hear about a poor widow who is going to an unjust judge repeatedly going asking the judge to give her the justice she deserved but the judge was always looking for bribe but she could not pay any bribe finally she started going to his house when in the evening he is returning after work so his own family people and neighbors will see this woman coming and waiting upon his compound or house asking for justice it is a shame for him so finally the judge said to himself i am an unjust man but this woman is troubling me repeatedly so let me give justice to her and god is speaking to us did you not see what is the sun just judge saying he is giving justice to her when she was on goingly knocking at his door then jesus is asking how much more the heavenly father will give justice to those who cry day in and day out before god for getting back the justice this unjust judge troubled by the frequent coming of the woman gave justice how much more the heavenly father will give you the justice you need what is the justice that fullness of the holy spirit that communion with god that was lost by the sin of adam and eve you are supposed to get back that fullness of the holy spirit thereby we can be guided and led we can receive counsel straight from the holy spirit we can be admonished by the holy spirit we can be ongoingly helped and guided by the holy spirit even as the past parents were speaking with god and listening to his voice hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. jesus after his resurrection 40 days after his resurrection ascending to heaven he looked at his disciples who were moving with him three continuous years their life was remaining the same not transformed they may be good people but they remained the same old self centered selfish people so before ascending into heaven jesus said to them do not go out of jerusalem the city of suffering where all the prophets were killed 
including the greatest prophet and son of god jesus christ was crucified in jerusalem the apostles will be persecuted some will be killed in jerusalem when jesus is saying do not go out of jerusalem until you receive the power from above promised by jesus father will send the gift of the holy spirit until you are filled with power from above you should not go out of this city of suffering you will have sufferings don't run away from suffering but rather praise and thank the lord for the unhappy experiences for the persecutions for the misunderstanding for the injustice go on praising and thanking until you are filled with the power from above the young joseph one of the 12 children of patriarch jacob he was a very good young chap and because of that his brothers were disturbed envious they thought of killing him but later sold him away to merchants going to egypt when joseph was sold away for 20 pieces of silver he was becoming a slave and being sold to potiphar one of the important officers of king pharaoh of egypt he was there also very good but the wife of potiphar was desiring sin through him and he was running away and she was struck by fear so when the husband came after a long journey back she accused joseph this hebrew boy whom you brought here he wanted to violate me see the overcoat which i keep as a sign immediately he was put in jail his imprisonment lasted more than 10 years and god spoke to joseph when he was sold away by his brothers you do only one thing keep on praising and thanking for the suffering i will be with you in the days of your suffering go on thanking and praising i will be with you after he was sold away at the age of 17 at the age of 30 he became the prime minister of egypt in the days of suffering he got the gift of the holy spirit many good blessings god was with him in the days of his imprisonment and suffering so god is promising to every chosen people in the days of your suffering do not get depressed or discouraged or do not allow sorrow or despair or negative thinking to dominate over you but rather praising and thanking you can be filled with holy spirit every day letter of saint paul to the ephesians ephesians 520 
Say after me, Ephesians 5.20 At all times and for everything Praise the Heavenly Father Using the name of Jesus Thank you Jesus Praise you Jesus Hallelujah Praising and thanking The bondages of sorrow Will be broken away The bondages of fear Anxiety Negative thinking Will be cast away And you will be Enabled To hear The voice of God The consoling Voice of God You will hear the voice of God When you go on Praising and thanking For your suffering And you will be Enabled To be filled with Holy Spirit Every day Every day At all times And for everything Praise the Heavenly Father In the name of Jesus Hallelujah 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 What is the meaning Of the name Jesus Matthew 121 God appeared Angel appeared To Saint Joseph When Mary was pregnant And he had some Bad thinking Doubts About her But Angel Gabriel said Do not be afraid To take Mary as your wife she is conceiving through the Holy Spirit and she will be delivering a child who will be son of God. His name shall be called Jesus because he will save his people from sin. Hallelujah. 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 Matthew 121. His name shall be called Jesus. Because he will save his people from sin, bad habits, other psychological bondages. Matthew 121. Matthew 123 says, He will be called. Emmanuel 123 God with us That is In the Holy Eucharist In the Blessed Sacrament In every piece of consecrated bread He will be fully present In all the tabernacles of the world In every Eucharistic adoration In every Holy Mass he will be present fully. He will be called Emmanuel, God with us. Matthew 28, 20, the last words. Matthew 28, 20. Jesus says, Behold, I will be with you till the end of the ages. The risen Lord, who is spirit, whenever you call Jesus, he will be there. Hallelujah. 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 Those who call on the name of Jesus, they will be saved. They will be forgiven of their sins. They will be washed by the blood of Jesus. They will be cleansed by the blood of Jesus. First John 1 7. First John, Epistle of John. 1 7. The blood of Jesus, the Son of God, will wash away every sin from us, from them, from everybody for whom we are praying. 
the blood of jesus the son of god will wash away every sin from us and from thousands for whom we are praying hallelujah 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 in one book of prophecy in from france i was reading jesus saying the saving power of my blood is infinite saving us from the destructions caused by satan family fighting hatred self centeredness jealousy or envy divorce cruelty the blood of jesus will deliver us from the destructions caused by satan hallelujah first john 38 38 son of god jesus was revealed to destroy the works of satan what is works of satan idolatry hatred and all sins against the 10 commandments adultery disobedience pride the blood of jesus will destroy the works of satan hallelujah, hallelujah. praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 is it not a good news that jesus was revealed to destroy the works of satan is it not a good news how jesus is destroying the work of satan matthew 311 gospel of matthew 311 john the baptist he is speaking about jesus that he will baptize you with the fire and holy spirit he will baptize you with the fire what happens i am putting a piece of paper in the fire what happens in the final turn it will become a new substance ashes when we are touched by the fire of the holy spirit the evil bondages in us will be destroyed we will become a new creation second corinthians 5:17 second corinthians 5:17 he who is in christ jesus he or she will be a new creation those who are in christ jesus they will become a new creation the old is gone the new has come hallelujah 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 at the age of 20 i was having my college studies after joining the seminary i was in a monastery where there were five other priests i was the only seminarian go and uh, used to pray nearly two hours morning noon evening and holy mass half an hour meditation rosary everything together we used to pray maybe two hours or more the lord spoke to me in a very soft way this is not enough you have to spend one more hour with me personal alone jesus is asking can you not wait at least one hour with me in garden of gethsemane when the disciples were sleeping 
while jesus was severely afflicted with the sufferings the thoughts of the fourth coming crucifixion they were deep asleep jesus had to wake them up but jesus asked can you not wait at least one hour with me and this is what jesus is asking everybody here adult people spend one hour with me what is the purpose lord speak to me let me hear your voice let me know what is your plan about my life speak to me reveal to me let me hear your voice and plan out everything according to your will and plan hallelujah and uh, it was a very soft way i heard that voice thereafter every day before the evening rosary i would spend one hour alone one hour alone kneeling down joining my hands and one day i heard a sweet loving voice speaking to me from within ask and you shall receive holy spirit ask and you shall receive holy spirit i do not know what it is because i was already baptized and uh, confirmation and other sacraments but i do not understand the message but meanwhile i used to pray in a very small way lord give me holy spirit not knowing what i am praying 3 years passed my college study was over then i was put into the novitiate intense prayer one year and preparing for the first vows to enter into the congregation and i was in the novitiate one day i was kneeling down and reading from a meditation book as closing the eyes i saw two hands distance away in the sky a burning brilliant light like a full moon size and it is moving towards me coming and resting upon me entering into me and i am filled with the divine bliss divine light divine illumination i am being bathed with the love of god the whole inner person maybe it lasted for 15 minutes heavenly bliss heavenly light heavenly joy it was at the age of 23 until that i was a melancholic man always sad always sorrow always negative thinking oh i am good for nothing nobody loves me who puts this lies into my mind john 8:44 he is a liar satan he is a liar he is a deceiver he is a murderer he is behind the killing of all people so jesus said earnestly prepare for to be baptized in the holy spirit to be filled with the holy spirit to be filled with the fruits of the holy spirit love joy peace goodness patience humility self control are they not good what do you think love is it not good to be filled with love joy peace goodness no jealousy no envy self control all the fruits of the holy spirit all believers need it all christians need it